Hi, so I need to make this update because I made an error in the previous video. I said that these were farads, is what I said. And of course they're not. It's 1,000 microfarads at 50 volts. Now you've got to realise I start work at 6 in the morning and work till 10 or midnight and I can get quite tired and I can get overexcited and I can say the wrong thing, for which I apologise unreservedly and hugely. It wasn't an attempt to mislead you, it was just a stupid error. I mean, a thousand farad capacitor is going to be about the size of a drinks can, okay? You'll be able to see that it was a thousand farads, not a thousand microfarads. And so it was a dumb thing for me to say, and there's no chance it was meant to deceive, because it's just impossible. And these things are about the size of my thumb, not the size of a drinks can. So I am 100% unreservedly sorry that I said farads and not microfarads. Please forgive me. But I want to set that straight right now as microfarads. Now, what that means, of course, is if you used farads for your calculations, you need to change them to microfarads. Now, a couple of people have done some um, calculations where they have taken microfarads correctly and ran it through. And what they've found is that the power collected by this thing in those capacitors, if it were full populated, represents about 0 .0, uh, 0 0.013 watts. I think that's right. Um, but you just look at the comments and you'll be able to see that. And that's the power that was generated from that generator if it were fully populated. And now a few people have commented that's not very much. <laughs> no, it isn't very much. One guy even said you couldn't light a uh, charge a button cell with it. No, you couldn't. <laughs> You're quite right, you couldn't. But then you have to think, okay, that's not much power collected. What is the available power? So I went on to the net and looked up an available power calculator. Uh, and I use Omnicalculator for VAWTs. And I plugged in the radius, which is 0.4 of a meter, and the height, 0.8 of a meter. And now our wind speed was somewhere between 0.2 and 0.7 of a meter. So I took an average of 0.4 of a meter for that period of time. For 0.4 of a meter per second speed, okay? That's the speed I took. Plugged those in, and it gave me the available power. And the available power was 0 0.013 watts. And I thought, hang on a sec, that's the same as the power that we would collected. That can't be right. That would make this machine actually 100% efficient. And, and that's impossible, okay? I must have made an error somewhere, probably in the wind speed, to be honest. Um, but it is telling us that the efficiency of this it's right up there. It's right up there with the commercial stuff. And for me, that's pretty awesome. I mean, we, we weren't working with very large wind speeds. We were working with, um, you know, light breezes that ruffled my hair a couple of times. I mean, it didn't even make an impact on the microphone. The breeze was that light. And yet it was still able to harvest that energy. So I put the same calculation in for a wind turbine with a, a rotor and blade. And the figure it gave me for that was zero. So it's exactly what I've been saying it is. This is a low wind energy harvester, as far as we know. We've got to put in high winds. But at the moment, it's a low wind energy harvester with extraordinarily um, efficient performance figures. It's very efficient for harvesting those low winds, which is great. Tinnis, that's what it was aimed at. So it's pretty cool, actually. So I'm kind of really pleased with it, more than anything. But I really did want to point those two things out. Um, that is, this is a thousand microfarads, not farads. And this looks like it's incredibly efficient for harvesting the available power. Sure, there isn't much power. But there isn't much power because there isn't much power available. But it's able to get what there is that's available. So I thought I would share that with you and correct my previous error. I hope it helped and thank you very much for watching.